Hi everyone. I wanted to address the question today. Are we continuing? No, I'm not on the phone, baby. He thought I was on the phone. <laughs> you want to say hi to everyone? Hi. There you go. So while on this raw vegan challenge, are we still doing Shackley? And the answer is yes and no at the same time and what i mean by that is well first of all you need to understand that shackley is not just one thing it's not just supplements i'll break it down for you so we've got healthy nutrition healthy home healthy beauty and healthy weight those are the four categories that you can put the products of shackley under so that's four different huge parts of your life that Shackley can fit in and so yes I'm absolutely still using their household products they are by far the cheaper and the cheapest and the no. best working out there there's there's just nothing that really compares to them as with anything else they're setting the bar and of course I'm keeping up with my Shackley skin routine as I do it and I still need to do a video of that of what I do for my skin every day the Shackley weight that's not a huge issue for us I enjoy a lot of the products on there like the tea and the bars and the protein supplement can be used in all areas of life it's perfectly balanced so it's not just for weight loss so where it comes into question is am I still using the Shackley supplements and can I do that while being vegan and you can use some but not all I can see Shackley in the process of making things more vegan as science allows what we're working with right now are what they're working with right now are a lot of things that we just do not think about and can't comprehend the intricacies of the science behind it for example to make sure that the shelf life of a product is what they say it's going to be and the viability is what they say it's going to be so they could easily produce a raw vegan supplement no problem put it in a bottle and sell it to you and then by the time you get it it would have be no good be expired those are things that we don't think about things that they test for and until they can find something that holds up to their standard in certain products of it will do exactly what it says on the label it will contain exactly what it says in the label it will target your body exactly yeah. like it says on the label 100 percent guaranteed money back then they won't produce something you can see that a lot of times they'll take something off the market because so let's let's say that they're making a product like uh, ginkgo yeah. for example if their source of that product has problems they're going to take the product off the shelf until they can absolutely yeah. guarantee you that you're going to get a safe product with no problems in any of the ingredients that they get there was a huge mold problem many years ago that most people didn't know about and other companies just kept on selling the ginkgo shackley wouldn't for that reason because your safety is more important than their bottom line look at that you check that out safety is paramount with them they're not going to sacrifice your safety for their dollar they have lost lots and lots of money in just taking a product off availability because it wasn't hundred percent safe they couldn't get source the ingredients that they needed anyway long story short I just now thought of today I don't know why it took me this long to think that I've got all these other things on my mind to contact Shackley and ask them which products today are vegan because it is constantly changing when they are able to turn something into vegan they do because they really do not like using any animal source products whatsoever the fact in fact some products that you could say they even have a little bit of animal material in them it is so minute that they can still classify as kosher so they're doing their very very best to get it completely out of all the products as soon as they're able to find a substitute 
it goes into place immediately. Kudos to all those scientists. I cannot imagine the amount of labor intensive hours that go into that, trying to make a brand new discovery that no one has done before, setting the bar. She's hunting something. There's been a possum back here that's driving her berserk. I am always, always going to stand by Shackley because they have stood by me. They have changed my life big time. Andrew, can you say hi to everyone? Hi. He's healthy today. Allergy free today because of Shackley. Oh, yeah. And this little guy. I need to tell my story about that sometime as well. He would never have even been thought of if I hadn't had Shackley in my back pocket and known what to do in order to have a second pregnancy that was completely safe and healthy. Yeah. Oh. Hi, baby. Go ahead. Here. Here. Look. Say hi. 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 Hi, everyone. Want to say hi, too? Sit. Yeah. Sit. Good girl. All right, so what products have I been using while on this challenge? Um, well, Shackley just came out with a brand new Life Shake. If you're not familiar with the Life of Shake of Shackley, it is a complete meal. You could live off this pretty much for the rest of your life. And they have done the studies to prove that. So it's the best breakfast, best lunch, best dinner that you could ever have. Completely, completely complete. <laughs> it's got all your amino acids, your vitamins, your minerals, your omegas, your probiotics. It's all in there. And they just came out with one that is vegan. So I'm super, super excited. No, it's not raw. And at this point, you need to really understand the soybean and why soybeans raw are not good for you. Soybeans have the full spectrum of amino acids, so you've got a complete protein there. Yes, you can source other plant-based proteins, and we'll, we will see if they are able to turn the non-soy version of the life into vegan as well. Some items do have to be processed. For example, you would not go eat um, black beans raw. It's not good for you. There are some items on this planet that absolutely must be processed. And yes, they can be processed at low heat with just water. And Shadley does have the ability while other companies just don't. Another product that I will use is their B Complex. And yes, vegans tend to only supplement with B12. But until I can see scientific proof otherwise, I have learned that if you do not have a full complement of B vitamins in their correct portion all together, and you're only supplementing one, you can be out of balance and cause problems. So it's gonna take some more fine tuning, analyzing my food, what are my favorite foods that I'm eating most often, and which B vitamins and how many do they have before I would consider going off of a B complex. So far, like I said, everything's pointing to the B complex is the best way to go. And there's also the Vitaly to make sure that I'm getting my full spectrum of vitamins and minerals, regardless if I'm on the B complex or not. Could I do the Vitalizer strip or the uh, Life strip at this point and be vegan? No, because it does have fish oil in it. Um, that is something that I am really studying closely because that fish oil has been a good friend of mine for quite some time. What do you want to bet by the time I'm done researching that Shackley will come out with the best vegan omega on the planet? If someone's going to do it, they're going to do it. I'm just fielding my suggestions into them and asking them what they're doing now, what they're doing in the future. When I get a reply back from them, I will post it below and you guys can see that as well. In the meantime, feel free to ask me questions. There is one important thing with Shackley that I want to mention that I am not doing anymore, which is why I decided to do the Fully Raw Vegan Challenge. I'm tired of using Shackley as a crutch. And what I mean by that is I'm taking Shackley, so that's my excuse for eating ice cream. That's my excuse for eating cheese. That's my excuse for eating less vegetables and fruits than I should. And 
Yeah, I'm not, I'm not proud of that. I try to eat healthy. I try to choose organic and such. And people thought, well, she eats organic. She eats vegetarian. She's got to be really, and she's health conscious. She must be really healthy, right? Oh, uh, we can always do better. And we should always start where we're able to start and do what we're able to do. Yes, I'm not going to hold anybody else up to my standard at all. This is something that I'm dealing with myself personally and my own standard. And I need to stop making excuses and stop using Shackley as a crutch for not doing right by my diet choices. So that's why I decided I'm fully in to fully raw for a full month and I'm gonna get my nutrition back on track. I'm gonna get my health up to where it needs to be. It's gonna be a process and I'm excited about the journey and I'm excited that you're joining me for this and um, watching. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support too. I love hearing comments and questions. It's, it's really uplifting for me. So thank you. As always, I put links down below that are helpful to me and I hope that they're super helpful for you as well. And I'll see you tomorrow. If you're interested in finding out how Shackley can dramatically improve your health, my best suggestion would be to start with the health print. This assessment takes five minutes or less to complete and you get your results immediately, which is fantastic. I did a video where I took the health print assessment about six months ago and I'll share that link below. Here are my results at the very top of the page and I'm gonna show you next my results now that I've changed my diet. Now, the health print, even though it can give over a million different answers based on your needs individually, the one thing I would like to see fine-tuned with it is dietary restrictions. So if you're going into this being a raw vegan, there might be some areas where it makes suggestions that are not vegan for you. Just take that with a grain of salt. You know where you're at and go from there.